Saru Maru with Saru TV, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the Huion GT190. It's um, one of the newer monitors uh, on the market from China. Um, it's fairly affordable when you compare it to, say, the higher-end Cintiq models, like the Cintiq 22HD. Um, the big difference between this and the Cintiq 22HD is that you're not going to pay 22 hundred dollars for the tablet monitor um, this one is actually quite affordable at around six hundred dollars right now on Amazon um, I just got this in the mail today I haven't actually had a chance to open it up and play with it uh, so far we've got a USB cable looks like a mail to mail USB cable um, standard power cord uh, looks like a VGA cable, um, which in this day and age is kind of odd for somebody to actually pack a VGA cable with a device like this, only because you're going to want to get the best resolution possible. Um, I am probably going to be testing this with a laptop, so I'll actually end up using the VGA cable. Um, at some point when I'm finally ready to use this on a regular basis, though, I'm probably going to hook it up with a VGA cable, which you can get at most stores for about 5 or $10, depending on where you go. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside the box here. Um, this actually came packed in, like, a USPS, I'm sorry, a UPS box uh, on the outside. Uh, looks like your standard power. Got driver CD with the Huion brand. The actual box itself didn't come branded with anything. It's just a, a regular box, 19 inch monitors, a bunch of stuff on the side, not really relevant with a max resolution that is completely inaccurate, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. like it's packed in there pretty good which is probably really good since it's going to be coming from China it's got a long way to go build so far. Um, move all of our accessories out of the way here. So, so far, pretty nice. Um, it's got an adjustable stand. It's got a VGA port, which is very important. So it looks like we have, I'm sorry, not VGA, it's a DVI, VGA, standard DC, and uh, the USB input, which once again is mail to mail. I find that kind of odd. And here's our adjustable monitor of the future. Okay, so I don't know if we've got a good picture of that. Um, not too shabby. So I guess if you're going to be drawing, you're probably going to lower it. It's nice how adjustable this is. I can't really compare it to anything because I don't have the $2,000 it costs for a Cintiq monitor. Um, I've always used an actual, or I'm sorry, a laptop tablet slate thing, which is what I currently use to do most of my projects. Um, a little more on that later.
Okay, so a little more on the monitor itself. The build, the monitor build is actually pretty sturdy. Um, it feels solid. nice round edges. You've got your menu buttons here. Um, we'll get into that a little bit more when I do a, a mini review on the monitor itself. Now the pen itself is pretty light. No eraser like you would find on most other tablets here. Like my normal tablet as I mentioned earlier is a Asus Triple E Slate BP121 which is actually a Wacom, I'm sorry, a Wacom pen-abled uh, monitor. And it comes with this stylus here. It's got an eraser back. I never use it. I've always been a Control-Z kind of person or an undo button kind of guy. So, But I know some people absolutely need that eraser button. So they're not going to get that with the Huion. The pen itself doesn't feel too bad. It's kind of light than what I'm used to. Um, a little bit bigger than, here's a bamboo pen that I use with the BP-121 now. Um, feels pretty nice. This feels a bit cheap, but once again, we're talking about a huge difference in price point, and Huion actually makes uh, other different pens. Um, as I mentioned earlier, they had the models with the pens that you can replace the batteries. You could actually go on Amazon and buy that same pen for about $19.95. Um, if you need to be able to replace the battery and continue drawing or what have you. Um, so that's about it for the unboxing. Uh, ah, looks like this is the charger cable. For the pen tool here, so this just goes like that and plug it into USB. I imagine this is probably, uh, I don't know what the hell this is. Looks like, oh, it's an ashtray. So they give you an ash. No, it's actually, um, I assume to hold your pen up. It doesn't work very well. It might actually work better as an ashtray. Um, I'll test that out later. But that's about it for the unboxing of it. Uh, this next little segment will just be a mini review. I won't go into depth. Um, I just want to see how it actually works and uh, see how it fares when I'm actually drawing stuff with it. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so we're back here. Um, we've got the mo monitor hooked up. Currently I have the monitor hooked up. Um, to a laptop using the VGA cable um, only because that's the easiest solution I have right now. Um, later on I'll be actually using a desktop uh, to use this but so far so good. Um, the resolution itself is not correct because it's actually mirroring uh, the laptop's monitor right now which is some weird resolution. The actual resolution of this monitor though is about 1440 by 900 which um, I don't know, for me, I think that's good. I'm going from a resolution of about 1200 by 800 on this tablet. So for me, it's a big improvement. Um, but for people using, obviously, the higher end uh, tablets, you're looking at um, higher resolutions. Um, but so far, so good. Even on this lower resolution, um, response time seems pretty good. Uh, I'm using a program called Art Rage. Um, it's my program of preference when I'm doing uh, sketches and doodles. I draw a lot of anime, so um, it just it makes it easy. One thing I did notice about this monitor, it's got a couple of either dead pixels or what seems to be dirt trapped between the actual screen and the plastic of the monitor. 
So I don't know if it's just a product of cheap production value or what have you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start drawing a picture here. Just real quick. actually have to go in and tweak the settings a little bit. It seems fairly sensitive though as far as the uh, thickness of the lines go. Pressure sensitivity is pretty good when compared to my tablet here. I somehow seem to have lost... there we go. Um, so if I just lightly graze a Cross. And if I hold it down hard, it's actually got pretty good response time here too. Now I feel like the monitor itself, or maybe even the pen nib. I don't know if that's removable or not. It doesn't feel like it. It's a hard plastic nib. So if you're used to like fancy felt tip nibs like you would see on uh, the Wacom products, you can forget about all that because you don't get any of that fancy stuff here. Um, I think over a long period of use, it'll actually wear down the nib to where it won't make this horrible sound on the screen. But so far, so good. Okay, I'm just going to continue with my drawing here. My drawing is going to be super anime. Ultra Japan fun time. I apologize. It's what I draw mostly. Um... If you ever feel like checking out my artwork, you can either find me on DeviantArt as Saru Maru, um, or my Facebook page. I'll probably put up some links, maybe some annotations here with what I'm doing. Now, it feels like I'm probably going to have to go in there and play with the settings. I don't know if this is a result of the resolution being incorrect. I don't know, unfortunately, and I won't know until I hook this up to a proper computer using the DVI port. So that's what I got so far. The colors itself don't look too bad. They don't look great, um, but that could also be because I'm not using the correct resolution or the um, DVI cable versus the VGA cable. But, you know, I think once you start getting used to the way this monitor works. Because I'll be honest, once I started, it felt a little detached. But probably only because I've been used to using the Asus BP121 on a regular basis. I've gotten used to how that one feels. But, yeah. I think once you actually start getting into it, doing your drawing, it starts to feel a bit more natural. And it's pretty fun. I personally though, um, 
when I'm actually drawing, I would never have the monitor up this high. It would be as flat as possible, only because I always arch over when I draw. Um, but for the purpose of this video, um, so you can see what's going on, I have it at this weird angle, which is causing some weird line stuff here. Yeah, see how that's kind of oval? That there tells me that the resolution is a bit off. Now, for artists starting out, I personally recommend ArtRage. Sorry, I'm kind of deviating from the actual mini review of this monitor to talk about ArtRage, but ArtRage is a pretty damn good program when it comes to um, just sketching. If you like to just sketch, make simple, quick drawings, ArtRage is definitely the program to do that. Because you could do stuff like angle your drawings so that you can get that curvature. I say that, and then I'm drawing these thick, rough-ass lines, but... You know, what I'm drawing here is um, a character that I created um, some years ago for an online uh, PC rhythm game by the name of Osu. And this little girl's name is Pippi. And Pippi, whose name... It was meant to resemble the creator of the simulator game itself, who goes by the name of Peppy. Um, I'll probably actually throw some annotations in there about Osu, but uh, that's who this character is. And um, they chose me to uh, create the character's image. And so when you download the game... You see her in a number of different places. Now, this was back some years ago. We're talking maybe 2008. So, you can find tons of fan art of this character. But, if you want to know more, you could always go to uh, osu.ppy.sh. I'll probably put a link somewhere in this video for it. It's a fun little simulator game. It's free. It's online. You can play a lot of your favorite anime stuffs on it. And um, it was actually originally created as a simulator for a game called Oendan for the Nintendo DS. And it just kind of streamed off into its own thing. Uh, an iOS iteration and what have you. But that's enough of me plugging my artwork here. I lied. If you're curious about my artwork, just Google Sarumaru and uh, you'll see what else I do. But going back to the monitor, it's faring pretty well. Um, even with me completely half-assing this drawing, it's doing a pretty good job. I like how it feels. Um, pretty darn accurate when I compare this to the Asus Triple E Slate BP121, which I'm currently using, or which was the monitor, the tablet I was using before I started using this monitor. So yeah, so far so good. Now, once again, I think for the price point, you can't beat it. Um, $600 versus $2,000. Um, it's a large monitor. It's pretty responsive. At some point, I'll go ahead and I still don't understand what these buttons do. It looks like one of them is right-click. 
probably open up Photoshop here. Uh, what do I have here? No, that is After Effects. That does not work for me. But in any case, so far so good. These lines are a bit rough right now, um, but I'm kind of just having fun doodling. I haven't drawn this character in a very long time. So if you're thinking about getting a monitor and you're already using um, like a tablet, like an Intuos or something like that, having a monitor that you could actually draw on screen makes it a huge difference for, mostly for those who are used to drawing on paper. If you're, the thing with drawing on a screen tablet versus say an Intuos or a Graphite or any other tablet that doesn't involve you looking at a screen, um, but looking at your monitor as you're doing it. Um, I could never learn how to use it because I've always felt detached. I, know, I just saw some really bad lag there, but that can just be this laptop. Um, but yeah, this feels pretty close to drawing on paper. And it's faring pretty well considering this laptop specs aren't the best. And it's using some sort of AMD mobile processor, which is probably not the best for this kind of thing. I'm sure if I opened up Photoshop, it would probably crap all over itself, but it's not doing so bad in Rage. So far, so good. Um, I would definitely recommend it for $600 if you're looking to buy something that is a Cintiq alternative. Because even the 13-inch Cintiq monitor will run you at about $950, um, $800, $850 on Amazon, which is still a lot. And you're talking about a 13-inch monitor, which is about yay big. Any, any... Well, sorry about that, guys. I'm apparently crashing into stuff here. Um, getting a little overexcited with the new tablet. But, like I was saying, not too bad for the price point. I mean, so far, so good. Works pretty flawlessly. Even considering I haven't even, this is straight out of the box. I haven't even messed with any of the settings. Um, and it seems to work pretty good. Uh, I, once I get into, or get more time to actually sit down and fine tune it a little more, um, it'll probably work a lot better. I love how it feels. It's pretty solid here. I mean, I'm not going to throw a brick through it or anything, but it's pretty good feels nice. It's actually surprisingly light. I, I thought this was going to be heavier, but I guess I'm comparing it to a normal monitor. I've got a 19 inch next to me that's heavy as rocks, but 
I think for the money, you're not going to get anything better. Um, I know there was some Unova monitors out there that people were talking about for a while. Uh, another Chinese uh, manufacturer. There you are, Photoshop. And you can get these for cheaper than you can get those Unovas. You're looking at about maybe $100 cheaper for the same same size monitor. So, not bad. I actually got mine directly through uh, Huion, and it was about $600, and I paid the extra 20 bucks to get it expedited. Here, go to Photoshop. Oh my god. Sorry. I guess I should make mention that this is also not my computer, and the administrator dialog pops up every five seconds, so... I have to try and not to do anything the computer doesn't like. So here we are in Photoshop. And in Photoshop we're we're seeing some lag. Um, once again I th I personally think that that lag is coming from the computer itself. I don't think the computer can can deal right now. It's, it's having it's having issues. So we are seeing some lag, probably due to the computer's specs. Um, it's got some self-esteem problems right now. We're just gonna let it deal with itself, but. Not bad. Still able to draw fairly decently. Granted, if I was going to try and draw at 300 dpi for, say, an 8x10 print, this would probably start throwing up pea soup. Wow, this check. Ugly. But it feels pretty smooth. I'm actually really liking it. I'm having a lot of fun just doing random doodles. Okay, now this is just getting ridiculous. And apparently I have eight minutes left before this computer really dies. for this drawing. <laughs> it's a work of art. So in short, the GT190, uh, for $600, it's worth every penny, I think, in my opinion. Sure, there's a couple of things, like the tool charging cable, but I mean, you'll get used to it after a while. I guess it depends on how much you actually use it. Once you remove it, you're free to draw however you want. Um, response time is pretty good. Uh, I'm sure I can get to fine-tune it a lot more in the future to where it just... It'll probably feel fairly flawless. Um, but other than that, build quality is good. Um, yeah. If you've got $600 lying around and you need a monitor, I think the Huion's for you. Um, if you're just starting out, uh, maybe stick to a Graphite or an Intuos or a Bamboo. Those are about $100. 
Um, but if you're like me and you're used to drawing on paper, you're going to want something that you can draw on screen. Uh, there's a couple of other alternatives if you don't have $600 to spend on a Hui on monitor. Um, the HP uh, TC4200, an older Windows model uh, digitizer, laptop, uh, Wacom, pen-abled screen. You can get those for about $200. They're great. I used mine for about five years before I got this uh, Asus monitor. Um, I'm sorry, Asus tablet, which I'll probably still use as my on-the-go tablet, and the Huion will probably be my uh, tablet of choice when I'm at home drawing. Um, but that's about it for this mini review, and uh, I thank you for watching my video. Um, Saru TV, uh, subscribe. There'll be more videos, mostly video game stuff, but um, yeah, so thanks for watching. <laughs> God damn it! Thank you for watching my video. Like, so in short, would I buy the Huion? I did buy the Huion. <laughs> <laughs>